within you you have peace because you know that your tomorrow is in promise but your to even if you are given tomorrow it's a blessing you have peace knowing that your tomorrow is planned out for you that you do not have to struggle for your next meal you don't have to struggle to worry about what you are going to do with your life because your life is not your life anymore it belongs to god and with that he has already made plans for it does that make sense so the next one is pop looking at my basket what's good what's popping what's going on in between underneath above and all that good stuff how you feeling how you kicking it how you breathing the the moral of the story is who how are you did you read your word today that's what we're about to do today so today we're coming out so today we're coming out of the book of first timothy 6 verse 6 through 10 um and i'm also going to talk about another scripture but we're going to dive into this one first dive into this one first so i'm going to also have it up as i did last time so it says we're going to do line by line like how we did last time and we're going to discuss it okay okay so it says but goodness with contentment is a great gain for we brought nothing into this world and is and is certain that we will leave with nothing out of this we shall be content with these things and what it is saying is that um god is basically was pre-telling us that like when it comes to when it comes to materialistic things the things that we have yeah that we strive for to have in this world are vain um the most billionaires the most billionaires the most richest people in this world well, even though they have this quote unquote title to their name on earth does not ne necessarily mean that they have the means that they have this quote unquote title to them when it comes to heaven when it comes to God, he doesn't look at what you have materialistic wise or what you have physically. He looks at what you have in your heart, what you have in your heart, what you have hidden in your heart, the works that you have done with the gifts that he gave you, the tons that he gave you, how you have multiplied, how you have used, gone out and shown, talked about his works and his glory. Because really materialistic things. So having contentment in the things that you, you are the bare minimum things god is pleased with that that brings you peace you peace of all things because you as long as i for me as long as i'm my what i used to value my success is being able to hear god say well done well done for heavenly success for, that's just for my overall success but also my earthly living what i used to be like okay i'm be like okay i'm i'm perfectly fine is that fact that i have a home I have food. I have because I have things, you know. Because I grew up, I wasn't a refugee before. A refugee before. I grew up in refugee camps. I grew up hiding. I grew up poor. Not saying that I'm rich, but like for me, the life that I need, the life that I've, the life that God has accustomed accustomed me to, is a step up from. It just means that if God chooses to do nothing else for me today. I'm grateful because he has done so much for me thus far. You feel me? That's for me. That's basically what there's the um the scripture is saying. Having contentment is a gift from God. Being able to be grateful in just the now, in the now, in this very moment. Mike Todd is doing a sermon about this, about here is holy. This very moment is holy. Wherever you are in your life is holy. We have gotten to we have gotten to a place where we want to do more and more and more and more. And sometimes God is calling you to be still. Sometimes God is calling you to acknowledge here, 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 right here is very much enough. For me, if God chooses to do nothing else for me, here right now is so holy, is so great. I'm still grateful. I'm still grateful for everything and everyone that God has put in my life in this very moment. But those who desire to be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and harmful and harmful lust, which draws men in ruin and destruction. For the love of money is the root of all, the root of all evil. While coveting after money, some have strayed from the faith and pierced themselves 
through with many sorrows sorrows this is where people always say the root of the root of um the root of evil is money so stay away from money that's not what this is saying this is not saying stay away from money at all because god knows that this earth is operated the law of the earth what we use what we use is money we use currency but what it is saying is do not replace your job do not replace chasing after wealth chasing after financial gain just chasing just chasing after goals with god do not put put that in the place of god god when you chase after the righteousness of god of god all those things will be added on to you god is the creator of the heavens and earth he is not lacking in any way form shape or way this he always will make a way for you like a way for you out of no way he can always bless you he can always multiply it what the bible is saying is that don't get lost in the chase the chase do not give up your salvation for earthly gain do not give up your eternity eternity for a moment for a moment a moment could turn into you giving your soul over to the devil you selling your soul over to the devil for financial gain what does it profit a man to gain the world and lose in the world and lose his soul what does it profit you to have titles to have things of the world like what does that profit you does that profit you when it comes to god god is not a respecter of person or thing god is not like man that he should lie god is not like man that he should think like oh because they're rich that they should belong in heaven they should belong in heaven no god is of law and of principle he abides by his law and by his principle so i say all of that i say all of that to say that do not lose yourself in the midst of you trying to gain finances it's not that serious that's serious it's not your soul is way more valuable than any money that you can so now how does it tie into peace great question so this goes into peace in how you govern people oftentimes people oftentimes sell their peace so that they can have titles or they can have this type of society alignment if god does not send you there don't go there and go there if god did not tell you to go do that don't do it if god did not tell you to get that job get that promotion don't take it because what god has for you is so much more bigger it's so much more better so much more better than what any job can offer you or what anybody can offer you do not fall for the trap of the enemy everything that is gold Everything that glitters is not gold. Nerds is not gold. And everything that looks like a diamond is not true diamonds. There's cubic zirconium. <laughs> There's fake golds out here. There's fake diamonds out here. Do not sell your soul for that. Do not sell your soul for that. Your peace is aligned. Because when you know that you're doing things by God, when you know that you're in alignment, with peace with death, knowing that if I die today, I know that I'm going to go before my Savior. Even though god will god is still gonna bless us with financial bless us with financial gains because so i want us to get out of the habit of thinking that pastors or people who are of god cannot have financial wealth god never said he wasn't never said he wasn't going to bless his people god never said he wasn't going to give us any money he wasn't gonna give us opportunities to make money yes you can be of god you can follow be a follower of god and still be wealthy be wealthy that's the thing look at pastor mike todd I'm not putting him on a pedestal, but I'm just saying, like, I don't know his everyday life. But, like, God can bless us in the way we have wealth. But what I am saying is that don't let that wealth overwhelm you. And that's where your peace gets, that's where your peace gets stolen. Because you're trying to figure out the next way to get your re up to get your joy, to be content in where God has you in this very moment in 2022 of April. Learn to love this very moment that you're in because you're in because God orchestrated it. God planted it out for you. Stop being fixated on tomorrow. Stop being fixated on because tomorrow's not promising. Tomorrow's not promising nobody. So why are you making plans for tomorrow? Now that is not saying that you should not save or none of that. 
that is saying that, saying that, don't let tomorrow stress you out. Let your peace, let the peace of God reign. Let the peace of God have its, its dominion. Whether you have it or don't have it or don't have it, it's fine. If you have the newest Gucci or don't have the newest Gucci, it's fine. You got salvation. <laughs> That's worth way more than Gucci. Than Gucci. Just saying. <laughs> so, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment. This is not YouTube. Let's go ahead and end with a prayer. Thank God for today. Thank for your grace and your mercy. Thank for love and protecting us. Thank for allowing us to be alive. I pray, like, Lord, that every word that comes out of my mouth, that it will fall for the grandfather, God. Fall for the grandfather, God. I pray that we will remember to be content in your word. We will remember to have peace, to abide in our peace. Father, we will remember the value of our salvation, the value of, value of you, Father, God. The value of our gifts and our purpose and our calling, Father God. I pray that we will not chase after earthly things, but Father God, we will chase after your heart. We will chase after earthly. We will chase after earthly things. We will chase after heavenly things. We will chase after you, the spirit of the spirit. We will, we will chase after being better for you, Father God. Not for a husband, not for a wife, but for a husband, not for a wife, but for you, Father God. I pray that if there's anything may have said, thought, did, or what that bring glory to your name, let the blood of Jesus Christ cleanse us and purify us. Let it wash us clean. Let it pure. Let it um cleanse us, Father God cleanse us father let us make us whole before your sight again i come against every attack of the enemy i come against him. father god i pray lord that we will father god that we will find value in the things that you have in our hands right now we will find it right here in this moment to be holy be holy we will find our right now to be worthy we will find our right now to be holy god help us stop chasing after the next for the next Help us live a life that you have called us to live abundance. Help us live a life of luxury. Help us live a life of blessings, blessings, fruitfulness, and multiplications, Father God. But let, let those come through you and not through the things of the world or through the devil, God. Help, God. help us not lose our souls to things that look like it's you, but it's not you, God. Help us have the spirit of discernment. Help us be able to see clearly through every, through everything, God. In Jesus' name I pray. I love you. I mean.